In this video, I wanna share a productivity tip with you on how to stay out of your email inbox and get things done. Now, one of the biggest mistakes I personally have made is being in my email inbox all day, checking email all day and using it as a to-do list. And instead, I'm gonna start using Evernote as my to-do list. I have a notebook titled to do, but then I also have a weekly action list and today's action list. And I just want to show you in this short video how I've set this up to have those three things right at the top of my screen on Evernote when I log in. And so it took me a little while to figure this out, so I wanted to share it with you. What you can do is you can add notebooks as well as notes to your shortcuts. I'm showing this to you on my iPhone because that's where I spend a ton of my time and that's what I tend to use for my to-do list. You can also use this on the web or the, the computer apps for Evernote as well. And I do wanna make a note that everyone is different. So what works for you is gonna be different than what works for me, but I just wanna share this with you and it might give you some ideas. So if you go into notebooks, I'm gonna go into my quote notebook. At the bottom right hand of the screen, there's a star. You can press that star and you can see here, it says add quotes to shortcuts. And all of a sudden it's on my shortcuts list. And if I close this and I go back, you can see that it's now on my shortcuts list. Now, the way to reorganize those shortcuts is you can just click that star again and click edit. There you can remove things, you can move them. And what I like to do, it, it will show your top three shortcuts at the top of your list. So I like to have today's action list, weekly action list, and then my to-dos. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the quotes from there. And then when you're in an actual note, let me go into, for instance, my ha Instagram hashtags. If you tap on the bottom right hand corner, I can remove it from shortcuts there, or I can add it back to shortcuts by clicking that same button. So that's how you do it for actual notes. Now, since I've done that, it's going to change the order again. So I'm gonna go ahead and come back in here and drag and drop that there. So the power in doing this is that then when you log in to Evernote on your phone or your iPad or wherever you have it online, the three things you'll see are the, the shortcuts. Now I wanna show another setting I had to do in order to get this. I just, what I did is click the little gear in the top left hand corner, and then I click customize home screen. And here I chose to show the shortcuts and the notebooks. But then you want to make sure under show details that you have the shortcuts on. And then that will allow you to have the setup that I have right here. The power comes in being able to, first of all, stay out of your email inbox. And so you can really move forward in your goals. And then when you have a weekly action list, it gives you direction for that week. I recommend having no more than three things on your weekly action list possible and then break that down each day. So go in each day, look at your weekly action list and decide what you need to get done today in the time that you have to in order to achieve that goal. Now I wanna show you here in our forums in Author Audience Academy, we have take action plans. This is a powerful part of your membership. And what you can do then is you can post in here your take action plan. So you can have it in your own place on Evernote, but then you can also have it in the forums. And what this allows is it allows me to give you coaching on your plans and it allows you to have accountability. And this is really one of the best ways to get value from the community at authoraudienceacademy.com is to be posting your action plans in the forums each day so that you can move forward in your goals. And also I'm able to give you coaching on those goals. We also have our take action workshops each month and we have a forum for writing accountability where you can get accountability for the writing that you want to accomplish. And so I recommend that you check this out and you know consider using Evernote. 
for your action list, your to-do folder, where you keep all your list of to-dos. And consider joining us at authoraudienceacademy.com where, where we can give you accountability and I can give you coaching daily in our forums to help you reach your goals. I'm excited to work with you and I love working with action takers. And so I hope you use this and that you apply it to your business. Thanks. This is Shelly Hits from shellyhits.com and Author Audience Academy.